Hello, um, from Justine and Emily, and welcome to episode two of our candle journey. If you watched last week's episode, our first video, that was all about all the supplies that we'd bought. So this video is us trying to make a candle for the first time. In fact, we're going to be making four. I'm quite excited. How are you feeling? Excited. Um, we've done all the research. Well, I have uh, watched all the videos, so now it's our turn. So we're going to make four candles. We're going to make two this size, which is 20 cl, and two this size, 30 cl. And it turns out that with all the stuff that I bought, I didn't get the wicks that were recommended for this particular vessel. So um, that's going to be a bit of an experiment. So we'll just see how that turns out. I'm sure the candle is going to turn out, but what it will be like when we finally come around to testing it is another thing. Not going to be doing that today, of course, because they need to cure. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> it was funny. You need to cure. We are going to be using the Tiger Lily Rain Fragrance. Uh, what, fragrance is it, is it oil. meant to smell like a tiger or something? Tiger Lily is like a plant, I think. Oh, I thought you meant an actual tiger. Well, anyway, we're going to be using that. Um, we've got our wick holders, we've got our vessels, wicks, our thermometer, our wick stickers. Um, so yeah, we're all good to go. So we're going to start by cleaning the containers using our rubbing alcohol. Um, yeah, to make sure that that's all good because that's what they do in all the other videos. So we're going to do that. So let's crack on with that little job. Right, um, <laughs> <laughs> you find it so funny. Mm. Right, I would even worked out how much wicks we need, um, wax we need yet, so do that in a minute. Oops, right, so okay, well, you're just to warn you, you're saying right a hell of a lot of times. I know, right, so, right, right, um, right, right. Um, see what I mean. Well, if I just clean this one, I seem to have put quite a lot of. I don't know how much rubbing alcohol you need on your tissue or even if a tissue is the right thing to be using. I should probably get a microfiber cloth or something. Right, if I um, <laughs> do, if I pass this to you and you can be drying, just don't drop them because that would be disastrous, What's darling. What's smell? It's this. It's rubbing alcohol, which I absolutely don't want to spill. It's like what... Um, it smells like it? petrol. Uh, not petrol. It's a bit like what you get in the hand sanitizers. So it's just really the inside. Just need to make the, the make sure they are thoroughly dry. And I mean thoroughly, thoroughly dry. How dry do we need them to be? Dry. Give yeah, it how dry? Just dry. Thoroughly. Thoroughly dry. Do I need to do this one? Needs to do the one I. I that, just did that. Right. Yes, you do. You need to dry them. My job here, this part of my job, it is done. We are waiting for you, my darling. We are waiting for you. That's not your proper accent. Excuse me. Um, yeah. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. No, tick, that is tock. a very good app, actually. I beg to differ. So I suppose I could tell you that we are using the Nature C3 Soil Wax today as opposed to the gigantic bag of coconut wax I purchased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're using that, which is a soy wax, which I think I just said. Um, we've got our, we're not using the fantastic wax melter because we're only making four candles. We are doing the double boiler method, whatever they call it. So I've got the pan of water boiling on the stove. Are these nice and dry? Oh, nice. Right, so we need to work out how much wax we need. Seeing as we're not doing just one. I want one... to make a joke. <laughs> What's a joke? I've got a load of wax. What? <laughs> Is that a joke? In my ear. Oh, yeah, she does have a lot of wax in her ear, but we are not using that wax, that's for sure. <laughs> um, right, we need to work out how much wax we actually need for four candles and different size candles at that. So, unfortunately, when I bought my pitcher jug, 
I only got a small one. So I'm not looking at that thinking four candles worth of wax is going to go in it. So I think we're going to have to do two candles at a time. So to work out how much fragrant uh, wax we need, we have to take into account that we're going to be adding, in this case, 6% um, of fragrance oil, um, which we also need to work out what that actually is in grams. So we're going to use a formula that I saw on um, YouTube. I know that each 30 cl candle jar holds well our ones hold 220 grams of um wax so i need to divide that by the amount of fragrance oil we're going to be using which is six percent and i remember from school that if you were dividing something by six percent you actually would put in 1.0 and then the percentage so in this equation it would be 220 grams of wax divided by 1.06, which gives us, I need a calculator, 220 divided by 1.06 equals 207.5. So I'm gonna round that up to 208 grams of fat, not fat, <laughs> 208 grams of wax. I now know I need 208 grams of wax so now it's just a simple case of taking that away from the original amount of wax that I, I know fills the jar, which will give us how many grams of fragrance oil. So obviously 220 grams of wax will fill the jar. We're going to be using 208 grams. So if I take that away, that leaves me with 12. So, so I need 12 grams of fragrance oil. I've worked that out, but we're going to be doing two jars. So... If one jar is going to take uh, use up 208 grams of wax, obviously I just need to multiply that by two. And if one jar is going to use 12 grams of fragrance oil, then I need to multiply that by two as well, which gives me 416 grams of total wax and 24 grams of total fragrance oil needed. So that's that. We've cleaned our jars. We now know how much wax, how many grams of wax and how many grams of fragrance oil we need. Um, so we now need to measure that out and get that in the pan. Well, in the picture and in the pan. So we'll do that now. So Ems, do you understand any of the maths we just did there? No idea whatsoever. No, it is very complicated. Maths, maths is my worst enemy. Yes. So I'm just gonna give this picture a quick clean out. I don't know if you're supposed to, but Em's just spilt that all over the <laughs> My face! <laughs> right. Ew, that stinks. So, we've cleaned that out. Let's dry that off. And then, let's get measuring. Use some digital scales, um, which I already had. Didn't need to purchase those, which is nice. And yeah, we're going to put it on to the scale and tar it so that it gives us a zero reading. Perfect. And we are then going to measure out, according to our workings out that we just did, we're going to measure out 416 grams of wax. So, Emily, can you keep an eye on this number? And when it yeah. gets up to 416, you tell me. Yeah. Getting close? Yeah, uh... Wait. Oh, that's a bit too much. Don't want to waste none of our wax. Steal that back up in a minute. I haven't bought a container for the wax yet. Right, so we've got our 400 and 416 grams of wax. We need to get this melting. Um, we're going to melt it. And I did work all of that out. Our melting temperature no higher than 90 degrees centigrade. So that's, we're gonna melt it to, I don't know, just before that I take it. So let's go and take this to the picture. Right, so here we are at the pan of water. So we now, we now have our wax in the water. We need to keep an eye on this temperature because if it goes too high, um, then oh, it discolors apparently. So we got our thermometer and we're going to pop that into the wax. 
and yeah just keep an eye on it now and give it a stir until it reaches about 89 90 degrees yeah so i'm sticking the label on the bottom just to say what it is it's uh which wick i've used the fragrance oil and the wax and i'm sticking it on with a bit of sellotape We'll find out if sellotape likes it when hot wax is added to the jar. We'll have to get some proper stickers. I think next time I'd just put a little coloured dot on it and make a note of it somewhere else. But yeah, so there's the first one. The second one, because we don't have the wick that they actually recommend, I'm going to try and double wick it with two smaller wicks. I don't know if that will work. I'm just using my logical brain and thinking, well, maybe two smaller wicks are as good as one larger wicks. We, we are very much learning as we go here. Um, and so long as we write everything down that we're doing, um, then we will learn a lot and we will make sure that we are being very, very safe along Get the two way. of these into this vessel, keeping them central, but not too close to the edges. Um, about there. Press those down firmly. Getting there. Is it melting all right? It's almost melted. Right. Not sure if they're quite central. They look, well, they look central enough. Give them a tug. They're fine. Let's go and have a look at our wax. We've got our vessels already. Cleaned, wicked, good to go. Oh, I will, however. Put one of these on right our jars are done the wicking tool is on so let's go and see what's going on with the wax nice and let's look at the temperature gauge we are at keep it still 74 so a little bit of a way so to go our wax is at 75 ish degrees we need to weigh out our fragrance oil and obviously we worked out that uh we needed a total of 24 grams of fragrance oil for the two vessels so again we've got our cup just going to tar it back to zero and we'll pour this in so mz 24 grams can you keep an eye on that yeah yeah oh just over Twenty four. It smells nice doesn't it you smell yeah. it I don't know what it smells of though. Well, tiger lily rain. Right, going to check on our temperature of our wax, please. So once our wax gets to its temperature, we will pour the fragrance oil in and stir for a couple of minutes. 76 still. Nice, taking a little while. Right, we are done, finally. At last, that's it. Forever. That did take forever. We were going to go up to 90 degrees, but I've stopped at 88.5. We're going to get this fragrance oil in now and start stirring it gently, gently, gently. I see on the videos they pour it over something like the thermometer prong, so I'm just going to do that. I suppose it stops air bubbles or something. I love, oh, I love these. Oh, yeah, nice. What do you like about them? Because they're uh, candles. It's going to start stirring that now really slowly for about two minutes. <laughs> I can't stop. No, I know. I don't know why you're so tired. Because I've been having a night. Well, that's just silly, isn't it? Of them. But my it's body... not big and it's not clever. But my body routine can't go to sleep at That's Just because you always have late nights and sleep till in the morning. Yes, but even when I try... And then, if you don't do that, you have an afternoon kick. And that makes you awake for the evening. Actually, no. Yes. I don't go to sleep in the afternoon. Really? You gotta wake up early and stay awake till you're tired at, in the evening. Look how pale and then I go look to sleep. now. Sleep is very important. I don't know why you don't listen to me. Well, it's kind of boring. How are you aware it's boring if you're asleep? Because. Sleep's one of the best things. I love going to bed at night. I love waking up. So I need to go toilet and then <laughs> wait and then go back to bed to go back to sleep for hours. I hate waking up to go for a way in the night because then I can't get back to sleep. No, I can. 
Anyway, I think this is enough of this conversation whilst I'm stirring something the same colour as we. <laughs> right, how long have I been stirring this for? Like 10 minutes. I don't think it was 10 minutes. Four minutes. I would say I've been stirring this for a good couple of minutes. Got to now, <laughs> wait till it gets down to the pouring temperature, which it already has. So I'm going to pour this at 75 degrees <laughs> because the room's quite warm because the... So that's going to be hot, isn't it? Wasn't that hot? Because oh. uh, the gas stove's been on, it's very hot in here, so I've had to let it cool down. Originally, I was going to pour it at 80 degrees, but 75 it is. Right, so let's just pour this in here. Wait there. Pour it in this one. That is quite satisfying. Oh, I should have done a TikTok. Take it up to about a centimetre off the top. It's what you think. I love it. I don't really think we should be moving the candles much once they've been poured, to be perfectly honest. But I'm not kidding. We made our first, very first two candles. We took like what seemed like forever. I actually like it. Anyway, we've got another two to make now. So we've done our first two candles. Emsie's going to disappear now while I make the other two because that took a lot longer than we thought it would. Um, so yeah, you're just going to say bye, aren't you? Uh, thanks for watching. And um, you still got me while we make the other two candles. So now we're going to do the 20 CL jars. And I haven't worked out what I need in terms of the wax. If I consult my book, I know that it, contain, it can hold 150 grams of wax. So I am going to work that out. So it'll be 150 grams of wax and I'm going to divide that by the 6% fragrance oil so it's going to be 150 divided by 1.06 equals 141.5 so round that up that comes to 142 grams of wax needed so now to work out the fragrance oil my jar holds 150 grams the amount of wax I'm actually going to put in is 142 so the difference is 8 so I need eight grams of fragrance oil, except for the fact we're making two. So I need to double them. So 142 times by two is 284 total grams of wax. And eight times by two is obviously 16. So total of 16 grams of fragrance oil needed. So yeah, I'm going to weigh that out now and um, get it melting let's get it on the boiler and get this thing melting So while that's melting, I'm going to measure out the fragrance oil. So let's pour that in. Right, got that ready for when the wax has melted. We need to wick our vessels. Stick that on hard. Pull that off and get that in the centre of the glass. That looks right to me. Push that down very firmly this time. Well, I did it last time. Let's get one of these tools on it. Like this. So, look at that for perfection. I'm just going to check the temperature of the wax. That's all good. It's only at 35 degrees at the minute, so time to do the second wipe. I've just this stuck in. Press that down very firmly on the sticker. Get that in the jar, in the centre, and press.
press that down very, very firmly. Don't think it comes much firmer than that. Right, get the other wicking tool. Pop that on, secure in place. And I'll tell you what, so much better. I get, I do find it easier with the smaller vessels. And so that is a CL10 Nature C3 Tiger Lily, 6%. That's what I didn't put on the other one. And it's the 17th of January. Get this label stuck to the bottom of the jar. And we are good to go. Right, they are both ready for the wax. The wax is now ready. I um, heated it to 88.9 degrees. So now I'm going to add the fragrance oil. It's currently at 85.7, um, but they do say you can add the fragrance oil straight away. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pour it down the um, prong again and just add it in slowly as such and just start stirring it I'm going to stir it for a good minute it seems to vary some people say 30 seconds some people say two minutes some stir it for a minute one direction and another minute in the opposite direction so I don't know I don't know what's right and what's not. They all say stir slowly, so. You can see the fragrance oil in there. You can see it sort of swirling around. I wonder if you should stir it until you can't see the fragrance oil swirling around. I mean, it's not massively obvious. It's just, you can just, you just know it's there. All right, what temperature are we at? I poured the last one at 75. 72.4. Don't know if cool down quick. So I think I should get on with pouring that quite quickly. A bit trickier to see when it gets near the top of the glass in these ones, I must admit. Oh, I'll pop that immediately on the tray. And there we have it. Four candles, or is it four candles? Um, the ones at the back have now started setting quite well. So there we have it. Um, yeah, made the four candles. It did take forever. What have I learned today? Um, firstly, I think I was a little bit too cautious with the pan and the heating the water up. I think I um, put it on far too low a heat, so it just took forever to... Um, heat up just have to wait now let them cure uh, again difference of opinion so as you can test them after 48 hours cure time but then other people say two weeks some people say a week so we'll just see we'll see how it goes obviously i don't really want to make more candles until i've tested these ones because i just start I mean i'm just starting to waste wax although the um wicks that are recommended for the larger vessels have just turned up so it probably is worth making one with those wicks with one of those wicks in it just to see so yeah um quite good first time making the candles and although it was more time consuming than i thought i think that's just because it's all new um and i think you know there's lots of room to speed up the time there as as we get used to it it'll just become like second nature and you know you won't be fluffing around so yeah i'm quite chuffed actually um whatever i mean it smells lovely in here it is a really strong sort of smell of aroma, which is really pleasant um, and really nice. So if the candles continue to keep that smell as they're cold throw, then that'll be super. Um, it's a really nice smelling candle. And yeah, I'm quite excited about uh, what's to come. Managed to do it. We've pulled it off. Um, and yeah, I have to wait now to episode three when I would imagine 
we'll be giving these a burn, a test some test burns. I've already created can uh, some test burning um, documents so I can keep a track of absolutely everything. In fact, I'm going to go and fill these out now for the new candles so that everything's we've got a record of absolutely everything because you just got to be so safe with this all and this uh it's worth doing so i'm gonna go and do that and leave these now um to cure for for the next 48 hours have a look at them and, and see what's what's occurring with them yeah really chuffed four really cool candles there anyway i know it's a bit of a long video and probably a bit all over the place yeah i'm no video expert either so just try to document the process for you um and fingers crossed I will see you in episode three. Hopefully we haven't put you off so that you're not interested in gluing in for that, uh, tuning in for that one. All right, so thanks so much for watching and joining us both. I know it's only just me here at the end, but thank you. Um, and yeah, if you did like it or if, if this makes you want to join our journey, then do subscribe and tap the little bell. And if subscribing isn't your thing, well, then maybe just give it a like because it all helps to support the growth of the channel. So yes, thank you very much and um, yeah, have a great week. Speak to you and see you in the next episode. Bye.